All right, it's been a little while, too long really, since I've played some Mike Owens, and I'm just going to join this game in progress here because it was interrupted by an important phone call. I'm um, just doing a quick thing here with my late afternoon break time. So uh, Owen Olin just scored actually just past two minutes into the contest to put Quebec up one nothing there early. The Quebec Nordiques, who they were 3-12-1 and at the half. They are now 8-12-1. and They've won five games in a row. They're looking for their sixth. They have one more home game, home game against the Hartford Whalers. And just for evening things out, scheduling purposes, I decided to... Uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, play that game, uh, this one remaining game here between Quebec and Hartford. So it's the Nordiques up here early, and let's see who assisted on Nolan's goal. That's actually what I was about to find out when I got the call. Joe Sackick will get the first assist on it, and the second assist will go to uh, Scott Young. So Nolan from Sackick and uh, Young here. Uh, it's going to be at 2.01 of the uh, first period, so really just past the two-minute mark. So we continue scoring chances here, arrived at with a roll of 33 or below, so we will get a chance here in the same minute. Whoops, one of them came out of the tray. Uh, 11, that's going to be a chance for Harford to come back and quickly tie it. Harford with a 9, they're unable to tie it, so... Uh, we're going to go three more minutes now. We're up to five minutes. I'm keeping time here just off camera, obviously, up to uh, just past minute five now without a chance. And uh, I stand corrected. We remain in the fifth minute with a chance. With a 44, that'll be the Nordiques chance. Nordiques get chances here on rolls from 15 to 53. Hartford 11 to 14. And uh, 54 to 66. And Quebec with a 5 and a 4 also. They don't score either. So Anyway, we're going to take another minute off the clock here at 32. So just past the 6-minute mark. Yet another chance. This with a 62. That'll be Hartford. Hartford with a 5 and a 6. They're going to tie the game here at 1. Just past the 6-minute mark. And scoring that goal for the Hartford Whalers is uh, 655, who is Doug Jarvis. Wow, Doug Jarvis uh, getting Hartford's goal there. And uh, there will be just the one assist on his goal. That one assist, 436, is Dean Evison. Doug Jarvis from Dean Evison at, um, at 14, at 614 here of period one. So we have a 1 1 hockey game. And uh, let's see here. We're going to have another chance actually in the seventh minute as well. And 52, that's going to be Quebec's this time. Quebec's going to go up 2-1 here. So just a minute later, maybe just barely a minute later, maybe even a little less. And uh, Quebec's up 2-1 now. Let's see here. 152, that will be Peter Forsberg. I only had to drop the two there, but it'll be Forsberg plus two assists. The first 542 going to Adam Debmarsh. Peter Forsberg from Adam Debmarsh. And Owen Nolan. Forsberg from Debmarsh and Nolan at... 7.31 of the uh, first period. So a minute and 17 seconds after Hartford scored there. 52, so just past eight minutes without a chance. Uh, 32, so in the ninth minute here we'll get a chance. A lot of white twos are dropping there. 13, that's Hartford once again. Hartford with a five and a six. Will you look at that? Hartford's tied the game here at two here. We could have a pretty high scoring one. Scoring that goal for Hartford is 5.45 is going to be Paul McDermott. Paul McDermott. Two assists on his goal. Uh, 114, Paul McDermott from Ron Francis. And uh, Ron Francis and Kevin Deneen. McDermott from Francis and Deneen. Sorry, I am being messaged and it is distracting. I do have to get back to work here shortly. Uh, 62, that'll be another minute off the clock there. Just past the 10-minute mark. And uh, we're going to stay in the 10th minute, though, without a chance so far. At least into the 11th minute, we'll have another chance. And 24 this time, it's Quebec's. Quebec with the two and the two. Look at that. We have a 3-2 hockey game here. 11 minutes into it. Just past 11 minutes into it. Scoring. Whoops. Scoring for the Quebec Nordiques. Uh, 4-12 this time. 4-12 is Mike Ricci. And two assists on Ricci's goal. The first being 265. The first being Owen Nolan. Nolan has like three points now, I think. And then 331 for the next one is um, Scott Young. So Ricci from Nolan and Scott Young here at 12... 23 of the or 11 23 rather of the first period okay three more minutes coming off the clock now just past minute 14 and two more just past minute 16 with yet another chance 32 that is quebec's chance and with five and a five quebec's going to double their lead now it's going to be four two hockey game here scoring for the quebec nordiques this time 263 is owen nolan with his second of the contest and one assist on nolan's goal that one assist goes to uh, Wendell Clark. Owen Nolan from Wendell Clark. Time of the goal scored is 16-12, um, actually.
Nolan from Clark at 1612. Three more coming off the clock now. Up just past the 19 minute mark, minute mark of the first period. Now we're into the second period here. Just a minute past it without a chance. And we're just two minutes past now without a chance. 25. So here, just past minute five of period two, there will be a chance. 35, that is Quebec's chance. And with the two, Quebec unable to score on the chance. So another minute comes off the clock now, just past minute six. With yet another chance, 31 is Quebec's. Quebec this time with the six and the two, they're going to take a 5-2 lead here. 5-2 Quebec Nordiques. Let's see here. 254. I think that's a hat trick. Give Owen Nolan a hat trick, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I could be. Uh, so it'd be two assists on Nolan's goal there. 664. That is um, either Adam Foote or Bill Huard. That's going to be Adam Foote with the assist. Nolan from Foote for the first assist. And the second assist at 361, Mike Ricci. And the time the goal was scored is 6. 6.07 here of period 2. 5.2. And uh, let's see, that is, um, well, that's going to, whoops, I didn't need to drop all three, did I? We're going to stay in the same minute. Okay, so two more minutes come off the clock now, jump just past minute 8. With a chance, 25, Quebec chance. Quebec, look at that, 6.2. So they're going for their sixth straight win. They're up 6-2 in the game, making a pretty good case for it. Pretty strong case for being able to get, get it. Uh, 453 is um, Valerie Kamensky here with his first point of the night. A goal and uh, two assists on it. 136 is Joe Sackick. And 313 is Scott Young. So Kamensky from Sackick and Young. Time of the goal, 8 857. Okay, so, oops. All right, let's see here. Three more come off the clock now, up just past minute 11 without a chance, up just past minute 14 without a chance, and uh, just past minute 16, there will be another chance. 33 once again, Quebec. Quebec with five and a one. They're not going to score in this one. So three more minutes come off the clock, just past minute 19 here at the second period. And we're now just past two minutes into period three here without any chances those last couple of rolls. We will get a chance on this roll uh, just past minute four of period three. 32 once again, Quebec's. And Quebec, they just keep on coming. Let's see here. It's 7-2 Quebec now. 7-2 for the Nordiques. What is that? Anyway, 7-2 for the Nordiques here, scoring the goal for Quebec. Uh, 5.36 is Andre Kovalenko. So everybody, a lot of the names getting in on the action for this one. Their name offense. So Kovalenko. And uh, let's see, they're the four and the one. So there'll be a pair of assists on the goal. Kovalenko in at 3.42. 3.42 Kovalenko from Ricci. And uh, 3.31 is Scott Young. Kovalenko from Ricci and Scott Young. Goodness, more messages. Sorry. If I sound momentarily distracted, among other reasons, that is why. Let's see. Three more coming off the clock now. Just past minute seven. I didn't get the exact time of the goal, so it was at 4.14 here of period three. Uh, so just past minute seven now. There was actually a chance here. I'm pretty sure there was a 16 roll. Uh, 16 and 62 this time Harford's Harford with a one and a two unable to score there down by five let's see 56 so just past minute 10 without a chance 13 just past minute 12 with a chance two and a one that is Quebec's chance Quebec with a two and a six uh, they just keep on they just keep on rolling them out so it's uh, let's see scoring the goal this time 634 that'll be lower in the roster Claude Lapointe I think that's his second of the campaign. LaPointe, a pair of assists on his goal. And 455 is um, Bob Bass and LaPointe from Bob Bass. And that sounds plausible. And 231, let's see Peter Forsberg evidently picking up some extra ice time in the fourth line. 8 2 hockey game here. Whoops, I didn't get the exact time again. The goal was scored at 12. Uh, 1240 actually, and then six and three. So we'll take two more minutes off the clock now up just past minute 14. And, uh, oh goodness, was that, you know what? I'm going to mercifully, I mean, it's already an A2 hockey game. So we'll say there's a scoring chance here just past the 15th minute. 35, um, 35, that, and again, my goodness, I, I, I'll be quite honest. I'll be quite upfront. I picked a bad time of evidently to try to sneak in a little hockey game here, like, I don't know, like five text messages since I turned the camera on, uh, mostly work related. So anyway, um, goodness, I uh, didn't realize I was that busy or, or that popular for that matter. So uh, anyway, just past the yeah, 35, that's going to be a scoring chance for Quebec and five and a one. They're not going to get not going to get it. So two more minutes, just past minute 17 now. And uh, nope, just past 18, no chance. 
Just past 19, no chance. Let's see if we can mercifully get this one beyond the final buzzer. Indeed we can. There you go, 8-2 hockey game. Sorry it wasn't a competitive one, though if you're a Nordiques fan, in the very least, hopefully one that you enjoy. For the Quebec Nordiques, now that is six wins in a row. They are up to a record of 9-12-1 now. Still a little, a little ways to go, a little ground to gain in order for them to get in the playoffs. Hartford Whalers, meanwhile, falling out of playoff contention. Really, now they would be below 500 with a record of 8-9-5. Anyway, I got to get back to work. So cheers, thanks, and bye for now.